Okotov, today's daf is daf Samachay in the Dorum, right from the top of the page, Tanya. <clears throat> Yesterday's Mishnah dealt with the concept of no lad. <clears throat> Besides the Posum Chavarav Vedimo, we also live with no lad, meaning if Rabbi Lesser said you can you can use as a Pesach, as an opening for a netter in order to be matra netter, the rabbi, the judge can use something that, uh, that didn't take effect yet. In other words, it's a new circumstance. Uh, it's a new, it's something new that happened that uh, perhaps couldn't have been anticipated. For example, when he said, I made a netter, I'm not going to have any enough in this house. And all of a sudden the house turned into a shul. Had he known about it, he wouldn't have, uh, he wouldn't have made such a netter. So is that a good Pesach? Rabbi Lezer says, yes, and the Chum say no. The Chacham said, according to the most of the Rishon we saw yesterday, that only when something is shchiach that it could have been foreseen. You should have anticipated that. Like, for example, we talked about Aeneas becoming poor. Uh, people do become poor. People, you see, become wealthy, become poor easily overnight. And that's something that could have been anticipated. So for that, we're mater netter, but not for something that couldn't have been anticipated, according to Rabban. When you are mater netter this way, does it have to be done in front of the person who would affect it? So at the top of the Gemara, Daf Samachay, from right from the top, Tanya Hamura no Mechaber, if you, a person, let's say Shimon is not allowed to have enough from Ruben, Eima Tirin Lo Bafanav. So when Ruben had an that Shimon can't have enough from him, you only matter the netter in front of that person. In other words, the person who was, uh, who was going to be uh, affected by it, Ruben and Shimon, one made a netter about the other one, you only matter netter in front of that person. Uh, Ron brings down that there's two reasons for this. One is because of shame. For example, let's say he said that uh, you know he's embarrassed about the whole situation. He made a netter, let's say, that he's going to uh, uh, get an off from this person, and then he he's going to have an off from that person. So number one is because of shame. So you have to do it in front of that person. You were the one who made the netter, so you should, uh, because of shame, you should do it in front of that person. Another reason is, is because of shot. That if you're matter netter not in front of that person, that person will think that the netter is still valid and you're violating the netter. You're violating the netter. So those reasons apply. So how do we know? So the Pasuk says, Hashem said to Moshe, we had this mentioned this yesterday, the Midian. Go back to Mitzrayim. He may say, call Nashim, because that's when Rabbi Ramah, the kings who wanted to kill you, those people are, are no longer alive. So he said, that according to the Chacham, they learned that doesn't really mean they, they were dead, that they, they became poor. Pharaoh of Lazar might hold that they actually had died. A little different shot in the measure. So, uh, so that's, as, that's as far, that's how we know that, uh, that Rabbi Lazar used that drasha yesterday to prove that um, because of no a new situation, these person, this person died because of that, uh, you see that you could be matronator based on a new circumstance, something that was, wasn't was foreseen. Whereas the Chum say, no, no, that was foreseen because all it means is they became poor. In any case, it says over there, B'midyon leich. Why did you tell him in Midyon go to tell you this drasha? Amalo, B'midyon the dark, he made the netter in Midyon. In other words, Yisro had uh, forsworn Moshe not to go back to Mitzrayim to stay in Midyon. And Moshe also swore to that effect. You made the netter in Midian, Lech Beheter Nechav Midian. You got to be Matra Netter also Midian. So you got to do it in the same place in front of Dechsev. How do we know this? How do we know they made the netter? It says, Vayoma Moshe. Moshe made a netter. Vayoma Moshe means he began, but, a little, but the drasha is from Lashon of Allah. Ain Allah El Ashvua. Vayoma uh, Moshe means he swore. As, and Allah means a Shvua. It says, Vayave Oso Be Allah. He made him swear. It's a Posig in Tanakh and Yecheskel. Vayave Oso brought him in a he made him swear. So Allah is a shvua. We have this also by Sota, but Allah is shvua. We have this uh, also there. We, I don't know why he brings down the Pasuk in Yecheskel, but there it makes more clear that it's actually a shvua. Uh, Allah in by Sota maybe refers to a curse. In any case, Allah means a shvua. <coughs> so it says by your emotion means he swore. So he swore in Midian. So you see from over there that and Hashem told him in Midian, go back there and be mater netter, so to speak, go back to, to Midian. And so just like you made the netter there, you have to be matra netter also. Sometimes you have to make the netter in the same place, meaning in front of the same person that you made the netter about. And we saw the two reasons in the Ron, either because of Busha or because of Shad. The Ron explains that the reason of Busha only applies when it affects that person. You made a netter, you're not going to have enough from Shimon. Let's say you made some other netter about fruits or vegetables, nothing to do with Shimon. And now you're going to be matra netter. So the reason of Busha doesn't apply, but the reason of Shad does apply. If the reason is, is that if you're matron netter, not in front of the people who you made the netter in front of, and they think 
that you're still forsworn from eating oranges, let's say, and they see you eat oranges, they'll think that you're violating the netter. So that reason would apply even if it doesn't, even if the netter is not between two people, so to speak, it's, it doesn't affect no, between one person and another. It's a general netter. I made it, I'm not going to have oranges or also to me. And if you're, and if you, when you made the netter, you did it in front of Yanko. And now when you're matzo netter, you don't do it in front of Yanko. When Yanko sees you eating oranges, he's going to think that you're violating the netter. So that reason would apply even if it's uh, not a netter between two individuals. The Pasuk goes on, the Pasuk, uh, the Gemara goes on now, we're at the uh, seventh line on the page. Uh, Uksiv, what's the gear say? Yeah, Uksiv, Pasuk, another Pasuk here indicates, we're, another uh, uh, story here from Tanakh indicates that you have to be matronet in front of that person. The Melech Nebuchadnezzar Morad, by Tzitkiyo, Tzitkiyo was uh, rebelled against the king Nebuchadnezzar, Asher Shbiyo, who had forsworn him by the living God. What was this about? What did he rebel against? My mother say, Ashkei Tzitkiyo, that Tzitkiyo found the Nebuchadnezzar Davi Ko'ochel Ar Nebuchayim. Tzitkiyo found Nebuchadnezzar in an embarrassing moment. Nebuchadnezzar was eating a live rabbit or uh, or a raw rabbit, uh, either dead, or either he was, was raw, it wasn't cooked, or it was actually live. He was eating a, a live rabbit. And that was very embarrassing that he caught him eating that. They swear to me you won't tell anybody. Below Tepic Milsa, so that people won't find out that I did this disgusting thing eating a live rabbit. So he swore to myself. Tzikyo was very upset that he had sworn to this guy, to this Nebuchadnezzar of Russia, because he should reveal to everybody what a bad person Nebuchadnezzar was. So he was showing the netter. He went to a rabbi to be matter netter. But Omar, and he told everybody about it. He was showing the netter. He swore that he wasn't going to tell anybody about uh, Nebuchadnezzar eating the live rabbit. And he was showing on the netter, and he was mitzar. Not clear if it was a netter. It was probably a kashvua. It, was, it wasn't really a netter. A netter is when you swear about the object. Here, he swore that he wasn't going to tell. So he made a, he was showing on the netter, and then he told. Okay, Shama Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar heard about this, that uh, Tzitio was spreading these rumors about him. They come up, they're embarrassing him. Shalach, he sent him, and he bought the Sanhedrin and Tzitio. Amrlon, he said to Tzitio, the whole Sanhedrin of the Jewish people and Tzitio, Chazis and my Kov, do you see what Tzitio did? did? What he did? Didn't he swear to me that he was, uh, didn't he swear? Uh, didn't, didn't he, did he not swear in the name of heaven uh, that the Loma Gil, that he's not going to reveal it. Um, um, they told him, you're right, he did swear, but he was sure on the net. He got, he got a Taurus and Durham. Um, can you do that? If you make a shvua, can you be sure on that? The Bukhanetzer and his laws were, was, he wasn't familiar with anything about, any law about that you could be mounted at him. Um, and you could. Um, but when you when you mater netter, you do it only in front of the person that it affected, or even not in front of him. Obviously, he didn't do it in front of me. I'm relay in front of him. You have to do in front of him. I'm alone. to my What did you do? My time alone recently. Why didn't you tell Tzitkio that? Why didn't you, if the rule is that you're supposed to be mater netter only in front of the person? My time I'm recently recently Tzitkio. Why didn't you tell uh, uh, Tzitkio that? But to tell Tzitkio that he has to be matur in front of Nebuchadnezzar, which he didn't do. Miyad, because of that, they were embarrassed. Yashvu Laretz, they said on the ground, Yidmu Zik, Yidmu Zik and Ratzia, they were quiet. They don't, like they had nothing to say. They couldn't answer. Or Yitzchak, Shisham to come to they even took out the cushions that they were sitting on. In other words, they had been embarrassed. The Ron, that was the story, right? That he was supposed to be matronetter only in front of that person. Like we saw, Hashem telling Moshe, you have to go back to Midian when you made the netter and be matronetter. Here, Tzitkiyo was Matur Neder, and he revealed, or Matur the Shvua, about, uh, about Nebuchadnezzar, and he revealed it to everybody because he felt he wasn't sure, he wasn't violating the, the Shvua anymore because he was sure on the Neder. And um, he didn't, uh, they, he didn't do it in front of Nebuchadnezzar, and the rabbis were embarrassed by that. So the Ron says, the Ron clears the Shiloh, okay, you're supposed to be, mat we learn now, if you're, if you're Matur, if you make a Neder about somebody, and you're Matur Neder, you're Matur Neder in front of them. Whether it's a shvu or a neti, if not in front of them, what happens if he didn't do it in front of them? Like the case of Tzitkio, is it is the hatar sedarim valid or not? From this case, you can't tell. You can just the the farshim learn both ways. Some say no because they were embarrassed by it. They talk and made a mistake, and uh, and it's not mutter. Others say no. 
they were embarrassed by it, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. But Phil, of course, is supposed to do it in front of that person. As we said, one of two reasons, either because of Busha or because of Cheshad. Now, in this case, both would apply because in, in this case, when the, when Sitio swore to uh, Nebuchadnezzar, he's not going to tell anybody that he ate a live rabbit. So what the reason for being matured at or in front of that person, both reasons would apply. Number one, Busha, because he's embarrassed now and say, I'm not matured at her. You, you, you don't want me to tell anybody. Now I'm going to tell somebody. I'm matured so I can tell people. That's one thing. There's going to be embarrassment involved. Maybe he won't be matured in front of the guy because he's going to be embarrassed. Or the, and then the chashad. And he says, oh, you, you, you swore you weren't going to tell anybody. You swore by your own God that you're not going to tell anybody. And you did. So both reasons would apply. It's a, it, both reasons would apply in a case where it was between two people. If it was a general idea, like I'm not going to eat oranges, so it's not, it's not going to affect any individual person. But if, they, if you're matured or not in front of the people that you made the netter from, they'll suspect you of violating the netter. So those are the reasons why you have to be matured or in front of the people that you made the netter in front of. Okay, Ramey Romer. So we learned yesterday that the Chachamim say they don't hold Abdullah. You can't be matur netter uh, by saying something that couldn't have been anticipated. This person died or uh, the house became a shul and you know, you know didn't. And now you want to go to the shul. Uh, that's a no love. That's no love. Reb Lezer says you could be matur netter. That the Chachamim, we go like the Chachamim and say, no, no, it's not a valid excuse because what's valid? Only something you could have anticipated. You, you, we learned before back in the second book, you could be matur netter, but I regret it. I, re- I just simply regret it. I didn't realize it was going to, I should have anticipated. I didn't realize it was a f- moment of anger. That's regret. So that's, that, that's common. We said yesterday, tell us this lot Nolan, they're regretting because it's expected, just like poverty can be expected. Right? But I didn't expect that the house was going to be turned into a shul. Aren't there rules about that? Don't they have to have permits and stuff like that when they're turning houses into shuls? Right? I didn't expect that. That was unexpected. That is no lot. And that is not good. However, says Rameyer, in the mission here, where mayor says, Yesh from Shein, they look like Yesh from Shein can know they're, they're things that look like no, but not really no love. Meaning, it's not a new circumstance which for which a Tarsan Dharm wouldn't work. No, not for example, Echamar not motivated. For example, what do we mean? Kate said, Omar Konam Shein, you know, says, I'm not going to marry that girl, she'll be all right. She's got a bad father's a bad man. Um, <laughs> they told him, Mace, he's dead now. Oh, she's a chuba. So, the reasons why you made your netter. Don't apply anymore, right? Or did shuba? Or so what does that mean? In other words, it's sort of like a mistake. It, 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 situation change. Or I'm not going to that house. There's a mad dog in there. I'm not going to that house. There's a, 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 a snake in there. The caliph died. Or, or the serpent was killed. Apparently he says, you know, the kid. The Kelvin is likely to die. And Nachash, you have to kill, I guess, right? They don't die so easily. They're like Nola, but it's not Nola. Meaning, you think it's Nola, and therefore a Tosh wouldn't work. He says, it's not really Nola. Why? Because it's like you made it tonight. For example, if you make an edit and you say, I'm not going in there as long as there's a do- dog in there. I swear I'm not going to go as long as the dog. Well, if the dog, they take the dog out, they kill the dog, you can go in there because your whole matter was originally based on that condition. You said, I'm not going to go in there as long as there's a dog. Then you don't even need a Tarsa Dharma because there's no dog there anymore. That's not even a netter. That, right. I'm not, I, you, no, I can make a netter. I'm not going to go into, I swear, I'm not going to go into the shul. Let's say I'm not going to go in there as long as there's a dog. So as long as the dog in there, there's a netter. But what the dog is taken out, the netter's gone. You don't even need a Tarsa Dharma there because there's no, the, the netter was only on that condition. Here he didn't make a condition. Here he said, I'm not going to go in that house because there's a, a dog in there or there's a snake in there or there's some guy with a gun in there, whatever it was. He didn't make it as a condition. You just said that's the reason. So he says, so so Rebeir says, that looks like Nola once the dog is taken out or the snake or whatever, the situation changed. But it's not really Nola because you sort of made the condition in your netter. The Echam Mola. That's, no, that's not, that's not a Echam or not Mola. That's still Nola. Because you didn't make a condition. You didn't say, I'm not going to go in there as long as the dog is there. You said, I'm not going to go in there because there's a dog in there. Okay, when they take out the dog, the situation changed, right? Well, that's no lie, according to the Chachamim. If you would have made it a condition, or if it was a mistake, as we'll see, as we'll see there was a mistake, I'm not going to marry that girl because uh, she's from Los Angeles, 
Okay, he's not gonna marry a girl. Let's say it turns out he made a mistake. It's like she's not from Los Angeles. We'll see that case in the Gemara tomorrow. Let's say not from Los Angeles. She, but she was never in Los Angeles in her life. So that was a mistake. That's not a debtor. We had before in the second parak that, that you made a mistake. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna have an all. Oh, my wife can't have it off of me because she hits the kids or she stole my wallet. And it turns out she doesn't hit the kids and didn't steal the wallet. That's a mistake. That's a nedushkaga. You don't even need a tarsadar for that. So there's things that are a mistake. And there are things which I made it, I said it not as a condition. I said, I'm not going to go in there because he's a bad guy or because there's a dog or whatever it is. I'm not going to marry that girl because her father is a, is a Russia. Okay. Then it turns out that her father died or he did shuva. He's no longer. Okay. That's no lie. Even he didn't say, I'm not going to marry her as long as her father is alive. As long as her father's alive, I'm not marrying her, right? And he said that. Yeah, when her father died, so so the matter's not, there's no more netter. I, I, I'm only not marrying her until her father uh, dies. Once he dies, I can marry her. That's the, there you made the condition. I'm not marrying her as long as her father's alive. Once her father's alive. But I didn't say that. I said, I'm not marrying her because her father's a bad guy. Then it changed. So that's, so Romero says that's not really known because it's like you made the condition. Romero said, you know, you didn't actually make the condition. So what's the idea? It says the Gemara, two lines from the bottom of the page on Samachim and Hal. I'm not going to announce because there's a bad dog there. Mace, Nalaru, Amravuna, Nasa, Katoli, Nidra, Bedover. It's like, in other words, Rameyer, who says this is like Nola, but it's not really Nola because he made a condition. It's like, it's as if you said you made a condition dependent on, uh, uh, on a certain thing. It's as if I said, it's as if I said, I'm not going into the house as long as there's dog, as a mad dog in there. But if the mad dog's not there, then it's okay. That's what Rameyer says. Rabbi Elkman says, no, the reason is, is Ukfar me, Ukfar Rosa Chuba. No, it's speaking about where he made a mistake. It's not speaking about where uh, the dog died or the father did chuva. It's speaking about, it's no way to not know it because he made a mistake. The father had already, or the dog had died or, or the father died or the father did chuva. Come really, that's what they told him. They said, now you said, you're not going to marry the girl because her father's a Russia or et cetera. And then they told him, no, the father's already dead. The father did chuva and, um, and, um, it, it, and, and therefore it changed. Now, according to Rabbi Elchanan, that's not really, it's not really, um, Gemara's going to ask now, that's not even like no litter at all. That was a mistake from Lechitchila. He made a mistake. He said, it's like the case where he said, I'm not going to marry the girl because she's from LA. Turns out she's not from LA. The whole thing was a mistake. So the Gemara asked him Rabbi Elchanan now, Master Rabbi Abba on, on top of Ahmed Beis. And the Mishnah tomorrow's daf on Samach Vav Manalf, the Mishnah, he's quoting a Mishnah from Samach Vav tomorrow that we'll see this Mishnah. This is like the case of LA. Konim. I'm not going to marry this girl because she's ugly. All right, you know, it turns out he made a mistake. She's pretty, right? <coughs> okay, that's already subjective, right? So I'm not going to marry her because she's dark. But Haray Levana, no, she's light. She's light skinned. So she's short. I'm not marrying her. She's too short. Turns out she's not short. Mutterbar, he's allowed to marry. Not because she became pretty or she turned white or she got, she got taller. It's a mistake. That's what the mission says tomorrow. That's a mistake. Like we had before, netter shkaga is a mistake. It's not a netter. The whole thing was the whole thing was under false, uh, under mistake. The whole thing was a mistake. If you made a netter based on a mistake, that doesn't count. That's what we had before. And that's what we're going to end the mission tomorrow. Gemara doesn't ask from we had that before. That's like a netter shkaga, but it's a different example. We'll see tomorrow. Netter tos. Bishlam Rafuna. Rafuna said the reason in our mission why Rav Meir says that's not it's it's like Nola, but it's not really Nola because it's like you made a condition. I'm not going to go into the house as long as, you know, because there's a there, because there's a mad dog in there. He didn't make any condition. He just said, I'm not going to there's a mad dog. I'm not going to marry this girl because her father's a Russia. So Rav Hunu says that Nasa Kadola, Nidro Bedover, it's like you made a condition, even though you didn't actually make it as a condition, but it's like you made it as a condition, according to Mayor, the Chum say, no, you didn't actually make it as a condition, therefore it's not a good association. So Tana Tolan Nidro Bedover, our mission talks about Making something which is like a condition, but turning that into us. And the next mission on Samach Bav Manal, if that on, uh, it's not the next mission, it's the second mission there. That's like a, a mistake. I may I said I'm not going to marry her because she's short. Turns out she's tall. El Rabbi Elchanan and Dama Kvar May Sukvar Rosa Chuba. So in our mission, Rabbi Elchanan says the reason why Rameir says that it's not Nolit is because it was a mistake. Because you said I'm not going to marry her because her father's a Russia. Her father's already dead. When you made the net, her father was dead. Or your father already did chuva. Aren't you aware of that? Why do you have to say, why do you have to say, if, the, if our mission is talking about a mistake, what do you need the next mission for? Why do you have to say twice uh, a mistake? Kasha, it's a kasha. Like we have many times, kasha doesn't mean it's an overpowering 
kasha, which uh, there's, no, there's no answer to. It's, it's a difficulty, but we go on, right? Tuft is more like that slugs it up entirely. Because you could ask also, once you have, once you had back in, Mish, in the second parak about Nidre Shkaga, why do you have to mention this again here also? Either the case with LA or the case with the short girl, the tall girl. It's a mistake. We already had Nidre Shkaga uh, is, uh, is, is not a netter at all. So that's uh, Takakasha. Of course, this reminds me of the story with, uh, uh, it's, uh, I think it was a true story in B'nai Brak where there, this, uh, it was a very good yeshiva boy and he couldn't do a shidduch because um, his father was a glutton. His father was a slob, always eating and throwing food around. You know, he was just, just a big slob. And even though the boy was a very good boy, every time they came to a shidduch, they said, the father, oh, what a slob that guy is. We can't take it. Look, look at me. He's where every time he goes to Kiddush, he grabs all the food and stuffs it in like it's the end of the world. They couldn't do a shidduch. Finally, a, a shotman came over. He says, I'll do a shidduch for the guy. So he made a shidduch. How do you do the shidduch? He said, the, the guy, uh, he doesn't have a father. A very nice boy. He doesn't have a father. He's, he's a yasum. Okay. Made a nice shidduch. They come to the to the fort and they had a nice uh, meal there. And the the mechutin, the father of the girl, uh, he looks around, sees the people, and says, "Who's that slob over there slopping up the food?" He says, "That's your mechutin, my mechutin." He says, "They said he wasn't alive." So the guy says to me, he says, "This is galait. Is, is that living? <laughs> you call that living? You know, you look at him. You call that living? He's not." Bodom Rameir. Another thing that Rameir said, Postlam in a custom of Torah. We learned before you learned yesterday, if you say, had you known that you're going to embarrass God, would you have made the netter? That's not a good start time. Why? Because nobody would agree, well, nobody would say, yeah, had I known that, I wouldn't want to embarrass God, even if he would have. So he's afraid he's going to lie. But let's say uh, only one Pusik in the Torah, one halacha, that maybe he's not so familiar with and people aren't so mocked with. And, and he said, had you known about this Pusik, would you have been mater? Would you have made the netter? And he says, and he says, no, Rameir says, that's also, that's a good Pesach. Had you known, shot over, had you known that by making this netter, you're over on Los Sakum Velos Sitor. Pesach says, you shouldn't take revenge, nor should you bear a grudge. And you're bearing a grudge by doing this. Or about Los Sitor, you're over on the Pesach, you shouldn't hate your friend, your, your neighbor, you shouldn't hate your, your, your brother. Or Vahaftal Rech Kamocha. You make an editor that you can't have enough money. Obviously, that's not for the guy needs money and you're supposed to help him. Now you're not allowed to because he can't have enough from you. Had you known that you'd be over in one of these psukim, would you have made the netter? Now Shahuani, he's a poor guy now, and he can't give him anything because he made you first swore having that he can't have any enough from you. Omar, and he says, who can't had I known this law, you see not, I would have made an error. Here we don't see any machlokas. In the previous mission, a mayor said, Yes, Ram Shane can all they know because he sort of made a condition, even though you didn't say you didn't make it conditional, but you said the reason I want to marry her because her father's a bad guy, or the reason I'm not going to the house is because there's a mad dog there. So you didn't you didn't make it a condition, but you said you said that's the reason I'm not going in, as if it was a condition. So therefore it's not Nola. The Chum say it still is Nola. Here a mayor, here the Chum don't argue with the mayor. The mayor says that. Uh, you can use one pasuk as a uh, as a net or as a hatar sedarim, and it works. Amalei Rafuna Baruch Pina Laraba is the girsa. Neima called the money lava like it. What kind of a thing is that? Uh, it says for you. You have to. Had you known, you you you, you forswore this guy having an off from you, and now uh, and now he's poor. Had you known that you'd be over in the pasuk of a chayachich imach, would you have made the netter? And he says, had I known, I wouldn't have made the netter. That's a good hatar sedarim. He says, why can't the guy say, what do you mean? I, I'm, everybody, everybody who's poor has to come to me for support. Call them Ani Allah, uh, Lava, like not everybody who's poor. I have to support every single person who's poor. Why does he have to come let him go somewhere else? My what if I if I have to contribute to his welfare, to his body cool I'm a fun slave, I can give it to the general, uh, give it to the Karen Achesed in the shul, and the shul will give it to him, not giving it directly to him. And the gabai of the uh, of the Karen Achesed can decide to give it to somebody else who's more needy, whatever. In other words, I'm not mechuyev to help this particular person, am I? I'm relay, so he answered him, no. Ani Omer, Rabbi answered, Rafuna Barachina, I didn't recall no I know for the gabai When people are poor, they don't always go to the kupat stakat, the Karen Achesed. They first ask their friends and their family. They ask, that's usually what happens, right? I always tell people, why don't you go to the bank? Why don't you, you know, they can't get credit anywhere else, you know, and they come to you, it's because they've already been closed out from all the, uh, from all, all the very, uh, the other sources of funds, you know, th this gemach and that gemach, et cetera. And with the gemach, they got to pay it back, otherwise they'll be blackballed. But they don't pay you back, 
<laughs> they just forget about you, right? So he says, anyway, but the point, they come to you first. They don't always go to the Gavit Staka, so therefore you have an obligation of a Chayachi Chayma. Pasan Is that a good Pesach? Man says, she's going to take all my money. Right? Is that a good Pesach? What's the story? He gives an example. My Sabbath was a story, but Shinoda Rabbi Ishtar, no. He forswore his wife from having enough from him. He got angry, she can't have enough from him. Isaac Zabasa Tafnirum. Her Ksuba was 400 dinners. And that was her Ksuba. If he forswore enough from him, he has to divorce her. Pay her off four hundred dollars. Both him. A guy came for him. A chayv living so he has a kizur. I'm a low rebbe. Ches me as did it in the nechava. My father only left us, me and my brother, eight hundred dollars. Right, and we had to split that. Not the lachi does. My brother took half. I took half. Neither one of us, let's say, is a bukor. Father left eight hundred bucks. He took half. I took half. That's all I have is four hundred dollars. The kizur is four hundred dollars. She's gonna wipe me out. That's what this is gonna do. And us. Bani dal So my brother took four hundred. I took four hundred. Lo daish atitol yim asayim v'nim asayim. Isn't enough that she should get half? I have to give her. I have to give her the whole thing. I mean, that's all I have is four hundred dollars, right? I have to divorce her because I made the netter, and uh, all I have is four hundred. Isn't enough that she should? I know her sib is four hundred, but all I have is four hundred. Let let her take two hundred, and I'll take two hundred. Amar b'kiv afi wa tamocher se rosh nimi to sell your the hair in your head to, to eat. Atanos like so, you got to give her the full suba. Amar lo ilay si adei ashukain. Had I known that. That I had no way out of uh, avoiding the Oksub and that I would left myself penniless. Well, you said I wouldn't have made a netter. The Tira of Akira. Akira was matter, was matter the netter based on that. In other words, you matter the netter by saying, I thought I, I didn't realize that the, the Oksub was so serious. Who takes Oksub seriously? Does anybody really look at the words over there? Nobody can read them anyway. They're mostly in Aramaic. And he has on 200,000. There are cases that come up for, for, uh, for you know, for a, a dinam, you know, if they come to a best and, where it's some, a young couple gets divorced soon after they got married, and there's a big suba over there. What do you do? So here, Rabbi Kiva says, you got to follow the suba. But if you can't pay, you want to be matronet a bit. Had I known that, I would, had I known that I actually, that, it's, that it was serious, that I have to really pay the whole thing, I wouldn't have made the netter. Rabbi Kiva's matronet a bit. Says the Gemara, Matatam, Mishdab, I understand. The suba's paid from Karka. Oh, he says, my father left us 800 bucks. My fa- my brother took four, and I have 400. So the money that's cash, cash is not Meshuba to the Ksuba anyway. I'm Rabbiya. We're talking about left him not eight hundred dollars cash, but eight hundred dollars worth of property. So we're talking about four, he had four hundred dollars worth of property, and the ksuba could be collected from that. I have a tiny say a rosha, but say a rosha metal. He says even if you have to pay her from the from the hair in your head, hair in your head is metalfin. He's going to cut up his hair and sell his hair. That's uh, that's metalfin. So what do you mean? Uh, you, you can't say that's kach. Even if you have to sell the hair in your head for you to eat, the ksuba, she's in th- you have four hours worth of land, you have to give her the whole four hours. Even if you have to sell your hair to eat, that's your problem. Shmamina ain't mesad machok or ain't mishairin lebachok is a, a girsa. See over there, it's a machlokas, whether if a balchok, if you have to pay, uh, and somebody has an IOU and he has to pay all the money off, and that would wipe him out. Do you at least leave him a little bit, you know, food for a few months, for a year, a bed, you know, a few basic things, basic items, you leave that out. So over here, you see that because he says, even if you have to pay the whole thing off, even if you have to pay the whole thing off and you're left penniless, you have to do that. It's no proof. No. It doesn't mean to say that. It means this. It says, Rash, it says the Ran, uh, Ran, the Ran is in the wide lines on the base here. About three lines into the very, very wide lines. The truth is, really, maybe we do in a regular case with an IOU. If the uh, if the uh, the uh, borrower cannot pay and it would wipe him out, you do leave him a little bit. You know, you give him uh, you give him you give him a bed and a mat to sleep on and uh, basic uh, basic living items that you leave. It could be over here. You also did. You don't want any personal items. You're willing to give him everything. Still, low tax of Lipotter, you still can't get out of this. In other words, you can't get out of, you owe her 400 hours, you got to give her the whole 400 hours worth of, of land. The low main current suba, we never teared up Kadeshim yet, so let's say you find money afterwards. There are certain cases, for example, let's say Erechim. Erechim, you have to give $50, let's say, to the base of meter. She's have Erechim by body. And then you say, you only, you're a poor guy, right? You have to give at least, let's say, one seller, one shekel. Let's say you paid it off and later on you became wealthy. You, that, that's a, you're done. But over here, when it comes to Aksuba, let's say your Aksuba is for 400 hours and you only have 300 hours. And you give it the 300 hours. That doesn't, that's all you have. 
You don't say, okay, it's it's done, the deal's done. You still owe the other hundred. Ain McCarran, and that's when Ain McCarran Shek Siva, you always owe that 400 no matter what. If you don't have the money now, fine. You have an obligation to pay her as long as you live. If you ever come into some money, you owe her that money. That's what he means to say over here. It doesn't mean to say you're Masada. It could be that you do Masada. I'm just saying, saying, even if you are willing to forego your basic living items, you still owe her the full amount. That's what he means to say over here. Remember, he said, no, we never tear it up. Meaning you always owe her the four hours no matter what. If if indeed you leave, uh, they leave you a bed and a few other items that are worth 10 shekels out of the 400 and you, you, know, you, you take some of that to convert it into a bed and a few basic items, that other amount is still owed. That's what it means to say. Even if you're Mavatar, it doesn't make any difference. I feel out the Oslo of Numishers at the Ben Chorotza Basilar, Lotach, you can't say Lee Potter. Say, well, listen, I, I'll, I'll be mochal on that, but leave me some of the money. No, Lola, maybe current civic tradition. You get the money afterwards, you still have to pay it. That, that's the Chivas over here. All right, we'll pick it up from Commissioner tomorrow, Mitzvah Shem, the top of Samachlov. Have a good day.